Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shell Craft One in my old barn door. And I just thought I would let y'all see I got the kitchen cabinets painted. Look how much brighter it is in this kitchen. Now I still have, I've still got my paint tape in the floor because I'm letting the paint dry. So, <laughs> but you at least can see the difference and I'll do some before and after pictures on the final when I do the final walkthrough of all of the you know everything that we've done uh, I'll do some before and after pictures of that so I haven't done the ceiling yet yes it needs some help um, but I have a cute little idea and I'll show you that in a minute um, so anyways but yeah it looks so much better with the white. Now I'm not going to show you my bedroom because I haven't made my bed yet because I just got up and went straight to painting. Um, and of course that little, that cabinet door is open because it's still wet too. Um, but as you can see, I'm getting ready to start working on these, these cushions here. They're going to get recovered. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to recover those cushions. So anyways, but I just kind of wanted you to see an update on the paint. Here, let me see if I can come this way. Oh, don't look at my bedroom. <laughs> Sorry. And show you um, the white cabinets on this side. Okay. And then um, I still have to do the touch-up around the screen door. And then, y'all, I made the cutest little dining room curtain, and I'll show you. Now, I still have my paint on the table, so you have to excuse that. I used vintage doilies, handkerchiefs, and vintage embroidery pieces. And I made my dining room curtains. Let me turn the light on and see if that helps. And then, so I put, I just kind of pieced them together with the different little handkerchiefs and doilies and and then I just made I made the top of it you know and just connected it to everything and then this was a very vintage piece of lace that one of my precious friends sent me and she said that it was um, a, a part of her I think it was her mom or her grandma's petticoat and so I have petticoat as my curtains <laughs> And then this over here, you have the handkerchief, the embroidery, and then um, on the bottom, there's embroideries. And then I added some lace at the bottom of that one because it didn't have anything pretty at the bottom of it. So that is the curtain. And I love how it turned out. I love the way it looks. I'm kicking wet paint, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to have to do some touch-ups anyway, so... Um, but yes, I love the way it looks and um, Okay, so I've already got um, The living room a pretty good ways done So I'll give you a sneak peek of that even though I am going to do like a final walkthrough um, Let me see if I can get us turned around here. Okay, so here's the Kitchen now don't look at the mess because there is a mess in here uh, because I'm getting ready to recover Jeff's chair, um, but here is, here's the living room, okay, so just a little sneak peek of the living room, don't look at my little ugly little white fan right here, it's hot in here, <laughs> so um, again, I did the curtain, I did the vintage embroideries uh, with the curtain back there, uh, embroideries, hankies, and doilies, and then on these curtains, I just took strips of fabric and lace, different kinds, and um, put them together. Hang on, and I'll go up there and show you. Um, but so I just pieced those together, and I did that on both of um, both of the curtains on each side. And then I still have to get decorations for like, um, you know, the top of this shelf. And decorations for in these shelves um, what's in there is not going to stay um, and then decoration for you know the shelf or whatever um, but I had to have my sunshine um, a sign it says sunshine you are my sunshine and what better place to have that and then 
as you can see on the ceiling up here sorry my finger keeps making it focus on my finger um i am decoupaging maps old maps old book pages old dictionary pages and then some um some scrapbook paper here and there um so yeah so this is the little den now y'all this here let me go up here and show you <laughs> That's thinking, that's an air conditioner, okay? Um, and I thought I was going to be smart and paint it because it's this really ugly brown color. Well, that didn't work out too well because as you can see on the little panels that I painted, it looks horrible. So I'm trying to figure out something else that I can do with that to make that pretty. I don't know that there's anything that I can do with it to make it pretty. Um, <laughs> and then I've got my little basket over there of laces hiding the, all the cords. Um, so anyway, yeah, um, any suggestions or ideas, y'all let me know because, but, um, I made these pillows are thrifted pillows and then I washed them really well in the washing machine and then I just recovered them with some fabrics that I had chosen that I liked and the cover on the sofa is thrifted as well. Um, of course, all the embroideries and hankies and things like that they were either gifted to me or thrifted and then the fabrics in the curtains in the strand curtains over here are um, um, you know just little bits and pieces that I've had or acquired along the way now I'm not sure if I'm leaving this because I don't know if I like it I made that a long 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 time ago and I just think it's too much so Hadn't made up my mind yet, but it probably will not stay there. Um, so, yeah, let me go up here real quick and show you. Hang on, I'm trying to get around the fan. <laughs> we don't want to fall. Oh, sorry, I'm trying not to go too, too fast. So, that's the, um, the vintage embroidery curtain. And then on here so basically what I did was I just took little strips and they're all different sizes I didn't do like all of them one inch or whatever I just did whatever size I felt looked good and I just tied them at the top and then I pulled where I tied I just kind of pulled it over to make like a little sort of like a little balance but not really a balance but yeah so let me just back up a little bit where you can see all the different kinds of fabrics and laces and different things that I used. I'm trying not to fall while I'm walking in this living room <laughs> with the <laughs> not watching where I'm going. Okay. So yeah. So that is my little living room and kitchen. And again, let me see if I can I'm going to pan this way so you can get a different view of the kitchen. But I wish I would have made my bed before I did this video. <laughs> my bed's horrible. I just kind of got stuff thrown on the bed. So, yeah. Again, I, I still have to mop. And I've got to get um, uh, the tape strips, all of the tape up off of things. But it doesn't it look so much brighter? Uh, I've got my fan sitting on my bed. Um, it looks so much brighter with the white. So, yeah, what do y'all think about um, the ceiling? With the maps and stuff. The maps and the vintage papers decoupage on there. I think I'm going to do the whole ceiling that way. Like, all the way through. the. And if you can see these little things right here, they were an awful dingy yellow color. I'll show you one. Let me see there see how yellow those are <laughs> so I'm thinking about doing I'll paint those and then I'll do the um, I'll do the uh, the decoupage on the whole ceiling and we decided that what we're gonna do because we want old newspapers old maps old book pages dictionary pages things like that 
to be the majority of it. And again, you know, I've got a little bit of scrapbooking paper in there, but not tons. Uh, but I love these vintage. These were a Reader's Digest, very large atlas book. Um, so we've decided that what we're going to do is we're going to leave a portion of it not decoupaged. And then as our friends come to visit, they get to decoupage a piece onto the ceiling. So they can choose a map page or vintage book page or dictionary page or whatever. So we just thought that would be a cool idea um, to let them, you know, do some of the decoupage on the ceiling. So anyways, this is the progress so far. And um, this little chair right here, y'all, is horrible. It's so ugly. So I am getting ready to, um, this is my little sewing bag. Um, I'm getting ready to cover that chair. So, it's not going to be white like the couch, but it'll be something complimentary. So, I'm just going to make it myself. So, yeah, that's my next project. That and the dining room cushions in the dining room. So, yep. So, that's outside. And so, yeah, these little cushions here, they're horrible. Um, they're not horrible. They're actually in really, really good shape. Um, but I've just painted... Like right here, y'all are seeing my mess. I painted this little strip, this little strip right here. So I'm letting that dry, and then while that's drying, I can cover these cushions. I mean, but they're really in good shape, and they've got this this vinyl stuff on the back, so it shouldn't be too hard um, to cover those. So yeah, that is the progress so far. I hope y'all are enjoying the journey. Let me tell you, it was a whole whole lot of work um you know i told you i was probably gonna have to do several coats of paint <laughs> it took three and it could actually use another coat but i ain't doing it i just ain't doing it <laughs> i'm so sick of painting right now that it is not even funny so maybe later um, i haven't even started on the bedroom and the bathroom those are the t last two rooms that i have left to paint and um I'm going to wait a little while to do those just because I'm burnt out on painting. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, when I do those, I may come back and throw another coat of paint on these cabinets. But actually, I think they turned out really, really good, um, you know. And so I'm very, very pleased. This refrigerator, um, we were thinking about replacing it because it does not work. Um, but I think what we're going to do now is just completely take that out and put us some shelves in there because we have a refrigerator outside on our deck so yeah so this is the update i hope you have enjoyed it um tell me what you think um i wondered at some point i wondered okay is this too much um you know as far as the living room goes but i like it so i guess that's what matters is whether we like it right because we're the ones that's going to stay here but um well, Sunshine hasn't seen it yet, so <laughs> that will be, uh, he'll be here tomorrow. And I'm going to tell y'all, I am never, ever, ever coming down here for a week without him again. It has been the longest week of my life because we are not used to being apart, ever. And so, this has been miserable for me and him both, and we're both like, is it Friday yet? <laughs> so, he's coming tomorrow, and so... I'm trying to wrap everything up today because I'm not working while her, he's here. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go fishing, and I think he's gonna bring the grandbaby. So this will be the first time she gets to come. So, anyways, enough of my babbling. I hope y'all have enjoyed the tour. Well, the little bit of a tour, so the little bit of an update. And I have lots and lots more work to do, and I will come back and show y'all. Um, my progress as I go. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope y'all have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me. Big hugs.